Hi, and welcome to Intro to Ethics. I had an audio lecture on here that was about 15 minutes introducing the course, but I decided to go ahead and make a video reintroducing it, and I'm hoping to keep this about five or six minutes, um, not quite as long, maybe it'll be 10 minutes. Um, but basically, it'll be a chance to introduce the course for the summer um, and hopefully be uh, a little bit more on topic because I got a little bit off topic and covered some stuff that's not really relevant for the summer term. Um, as far as it goes, as you go through the semester, each course, it's a modular format, which means that each unit is sort of broken into a module. There are actually two modules per week. They're just sort of, you know, they're kind of, they were designed to be weeks within the course. And because it's a summer session, there are two weeks for every week. And so you're kind of doing two deadlines per week. Um, within each of those, there's a video or, I'm sorry, there's an audio lecture. There might be two or three of them. But those are there for you to listen to. Each lecture is about 30 minutes in length. My reason is, is, that's, is there might be one, there might be three of them. It just sort of depends on each week. But the idea is that, you know, if I made them much shorter, I'd need to have more video, more, le more audio tapes. And if I had uh, them longer, I feel like it would just be too much. and It would be hard to manage and stop and come back to. If you want, you listen to those. Um, I would suggest that you... Uh, look at the notes that are also available as PDFs. Those were sort of designed originally as course notes for the class. And while I will be honest, like some of them are better than others and some of them are not as good as others, um, those overall are okay. And I would recommend sort of following along with those notes as you listen to lecture and uh, also make sure to read the textbook in accompaniment to that. And all that should work together. The Quizzes each week are mainly over the book, but the exam, the midterm, and the final will be largely over the lecture and the notes that I have created. And so, um, you know, that's partially designed, you know, sort of to, to look at two different parts. Each of them support each other, but they kind of focus a little bit different. The midterm and the final focus a little bit more on these audio tapes. So... Um, I told you a little bit about, you know, how to study and what's on those. Um, I ask always that if there, you find any errors, either grammatically, scoring-wise, etc., email me. I will take a look. Uh, I do make mistakes, and sometimes, especially as we move from semester to semester, I will forget to change some wording. And so I would ask that you let me know if that happens. Um... One of the questions I always get in an online class is people will ask me, what's the key to success? I've never taken an online class. What do I need to succeed? Well, the thing I always tell everybody are probably a couple things, maybe three things, is don't be afraid to contact me. I am here. I try to respond to all my email within 24 hours. Uh, if I do not respond within 48 hours, which happens sometimes, uh, I do ask that you simply... If I have not responded to you within 48 hours, I ask you to email me again and just say, hey, I never got a response, and I will try to catch back up with you. I may have read the email and just forgot to respond or thought I responded and didn't. And so I usually read emails sometimes and I'll look, and if I can answer it quickly, I'll answer right then. And if I feel like I need to think about it, I will put it off. And so sometimes I do that and then I forget to go back. So if, if you don't get a response from me within 48 hours, send me another email. Um, if you see any errors, don't be afraid to let me know, or if you have any questions, don't be afraid to let me know. Uh, you know, in an online, or I'm sorry, in a classroom class, you have the benefit that if you have a problem, a question, or a concern, you can just raise your hand and say, hey, I don't understand this. And if you're nervous, probably somebody else in the room has it, and they'll raise their hands and ask the question. That's not always the case here with an online class, um, and so you have to just send me an email. Don't be afraid to email me, even with a silly question. Sometimes people say, oh, I hate to bother you with this. No, go ahead and bother me. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Feel free to do that. The final step or the final piece of advice I always give is set some time aside. Most of us are very busy. I personally have two children. Uh, they're two and one, very young and very time-consuming. And if I don't put time where I can sit down and work, uh, on this course and my other courses, I just don't get it done. It's easy for me to kind of push aside and then be rushing. That doesn't make for a very good uh, success in this class for you or me. And so I would recommend, you know, sort of make sure to set aside a couple hours each day or two or three hours um, 
every other day to work on this course. Um, those are basically my steps to success. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I always like to give this final closing lecture. And basically, um, it's a little bit different for an online class, but I always like to comment on the fact that, um, that you know, you are paying to take a three credit hour class here at Parkland. You are paying approximately $300, $330, uh, depending upon, I don't know exactly what tuition and fees are right now, but um, it would be well over $300. Which means for a three-week, I'm sorry, an eight-week class, that means you are paying around 35, 40 bucks per, probably about 40 bucks per week uh, to take this course. Um, that's about eight bucks a day, five bucks a day, something somewhere in that ballpark, five day bucks a day, depending upon if you consider if you take a weekend. So I always sort of say, you know, you are paying quite a bit. And you should take it seriously. You know, try to think about the fact that you know you put you're putting aside that kind of money each day. Um, it may not seem like a lot. Maybe it is. Um, but the other thing I always say is, you know, that not only are you paying that money, but the people of Parkland College Community College District are also paying the people of the state of Illinois. That if you went to U of I or some of you do, and you were paying, you would be paying four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a credit hour. I believe they actually are closer to $800 a credit hour right now. And the reason why we charge less is largely because it is subsidized by the state and government. And you just have to think that for every dollar you pay, you may be paying 5 or $10 a day to be in this course, but um, the people of Parkland are paying 40 or $50 on your behalf for you to be in this course. So I always say, you know, take seriously what you're doing. Uh, you know, take time, be concerned, and uh, you know, do a good job because in the end, you know, you owe it not only to yourself. You're spending the money, but you're also doing something, and people are helping you. And I just ask that you take it seriously. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to contact me. As always, that is the key. Contact me. Contact me. Contact me. If you have any questions, thanks.